So here, here I am in uh, the Vedic Study Center okay. in Rishikesh, yes, yeah. and I am with um, Yogendar Manocha. I'm 67 years old. I have studied Hindu scriptures in detail, and I have dared to translate some of the original books like Bhagavad Gita and Acharya Shankaracharya these books. And we are in your library here, the center, and I will show the audience your library here where you have thousands of books on Vedic and Hindu religions. Religion and philosophy huh? and history and everything about that. And you have written this book, The Divine Message of Lord Krishna, the Bhagavad Gita. And you have assimilated your understanding yeah. of this great book yeah. into your book. Yeah. And so, could you... I would you... like to detail that whatever has been said in Ved, in one lakh verses, about the Supreme has been said in just 700 verses in this book, Bhagavad Gita. So you have... That means if you read one lakh verses up with just equivalent to 700 verses of this Bhagavad Gita. So you can imagine how easy it is to mm -hmm. understand Ved through this small book. Okay. Now, what I have done is that I have tried to include the scientific knowledge basis of the Bhagavad Gita, irrespective of the present and past translations in the market who deal separately on the philosophy of Jnana, Karam and Bhakti. Okay. Whereas this includes all the three. So you have the Yan, the Bhakti, and the. And the Yan, Bhakti, and the Karam. Uh -huh. All these things <clears throat> in the light of modern science as well. Keeping in touch the essence of Vedic message. Uh -huh. And so could you talk to the audience about the difference between the Vedic study and the Hindu study? Sure. There is no difference between Vedic, Sanatan, Hindu and Arya. They, are, they have got one and the same meaning. Vedic means Sanatan, Sanatan means Arya, Arya means Hindu. There is absolutely no difference. These terms have been given in different times, at different times. That's all. Mm -hmm. People are generally confused about that, these terms. But they should remember it. There is no difference in all these four terms. But in the transmission of the communication, one is in Sanskrit and one is in Hindi. And today, now it's in many, many languages. Surely. You see, original, all original scriptures of Hinduism or Vedic religion are in Sanskrit only. And that too in verses only. Verses. Verses, poems. Mm -hmm. right? They have been translated not much ago, you can say about 2000 years ago, earlier they were read and taught in Sanskrit only. Later on, these were translated in Hindi and other Indian or foreign languages. And their commentaries were also given in due course. Well, I have given you a promise to take your book and I'm going to put it on my website, The B-Zone, in digital form 
for people to read and study because this material is to be studied. Yes. I will request all the readers to start this book from the 10th verse of 2nd chapter first because the first chapter and the 10 verses relate to history part which seems to be very bored. Never mind, don't bother. Start it from the 10th verse onwards of the 2nd chapter. 2nd chapter, 10th verse. 10th verse, mm -hmm. right? Then you will, feel, you will find that on every page I have given some footnotes and some things, some words are explained in crutches. They are very well clear. In crutches, the meaning of the same word in different words. That's all clarified. Whereas in footnotes, there is some extra details to uh -huh. make the reader understand. Even after that, at the end of the book, the reader can find the meanings of italicized words used in this Bhagavad Gita. And further to that, there is an additional glossary of terms. Glossary of terms is equally important. They should be read side by side. And at the last of the page, which, are, which should have been given in the very beginning, there is a pronunciation guide which makes the Bhagavad Gita much simpler and simpler. Okay. If anybody finds any trouble, any difficulty, any question, he is welcome to ask me and I shall be, it will be my pleasure to answer it in detail. Okay. Well, thank you very much. My uh, pleasure. Thank you. My Yo pleasure. Yogendra. Yogendra. Manacha, I am here in Rishikesh today at the Vedic Study Center.